Thank you for viewing the 2015-2016 Affiliation System Updates. During this tutorial, we will be walking the Chapter Advisor through updates to the affiliation process for this current year. First, you'll need to log in to the affiliation website at affiliation.registermychapter.com slash FCCLA. The site I'm using today is a test site we use internally here at National FCCLA, but it does mirror the site listed there, so you will not see many differences. The username that you will need to use to log in is your chapter ID number. If you don't know your chapter ID number, you can contact your state advisor for that information. And the password is set by the chapter advisor. So if you do not know the password, you can use the forgot password button to retrieve it, or again, you can contact your state advisor for that information. So the first update we'll be going through today is the graduation process. The graduation process is actually built so that students who are no longer part of your chapter but will be continuing their FCCLA experience in a different chapter or an alumni and associate will be able to move on to those areas within the system. We don't want to duplicate records of students, and we would like for the student to be able to maintain their activities in FCCLA, such as competitive events, national conferences, and awards throughout their experience in the organization. So this graduation process is meant to move students who have graduated from your chapter to another, or to move students who have graduated from the 12th grade to our alumni and associates database. So I'm going to walk you through three different ways to graduate students today. The first one is graduating being 12th grade students. So these would be students who are in the 12th grade during the 2014-2015 affiliation year. When you log in, the first screen you will see will ask you to confirm some information about your chapter. So you'll confirm your chapter membership type, the original chapter ID, and then the student password, which is set up for a function for later use. And it's automatically set to FCCLA, so you won't need to change this information here. The next option, then, is to select the highest grade level for this chapter. And this is the highest grade level in which students can still participate in FCCLA within your chapter. So in this case, we're going to select 12th grade. And you can see there, by clicking on the drop-down arrow, you can select 12th grade as the highest grade level for your chapter. You then will need to select one of the following options on how to treat your graduating members. In the case of 12th graders, the option is to make them eligible for ANA, which is our Alumni and Associates program. So if the highest grade level for your chapter is 12th grade, you will just select eligible for ANA. That is one option for graduating those students. So go ahead then and confirm the information on this screen one last time. Make sure you have the highest grade level correct. And again, for 12th graders that you've selected eligible for alumni and associates. And then you'll click on that confirm button in the bottom left-hand corner. From here, a pop-up will appear. Um, and it's a graduation pop-up that's going to give some specific instructions about the graduation process. It does ask you to graduate applicable students from your chapter. It gives you instructions on where to find that graduate button. And then it does remind you that you won't be able to proceed through the affiliation process without graduating students from your chapter and then completing the bulk chapter member edit. So just make sure you read those instructions carefully and then click on the close button to close out of this pop-up. So once you close out of the pop-up, you'll be able to see the red graduate button. And this gives you the ability to graduate, again, students from your chapter, in this case, who graduated from the 12th grade in the 2014-2015 affiliation year. So select that red graduate button. And now you'll be taken to a screen with a list of all of those applicable students. In this case, there's one student in this chapter. So you'll have a couple steps on this graduation screen. First, you'll want to verify and confirm the advancing grade. It's automatically going to list post-secondary because that is the next grade level that would be available to 12th grade students. 
We do know that post-secondary affiliation is not available in every state, but you'll just need to go ahead and leave that as post-secondary if the student is graduating from 12th grade. You'll also just want to confirm that the graduating school says moving to alumni and associates. See, once you have that information set up, you'll then go ahead and click on either individually each student to graduate them from the chapter, or you can use the select all, unselect all button to graduate a group of students. If you do have a student within your chapter that did not graduate from the 12th grade last year, but what, that was in the 12th grade, you want to make sure that you don't graduate that student at this point in time and don't select that student so that they can remain part of your chapter for the 15-16 affiliation year. So once you've verified all of this information is correct, you'll click on that black graduation completed button in the bottom left-hand corner. So another pop-up is going to appear that's just asking you to verify that you've finished graduating your students. If the answer is yes, then you'll click on the Yes button. If you wish to complete the graduation process at a later time, you will select No. But just be advised that you won't be able to move on through the affiliation process until this graduation is complete. So just be sure to do this as soon as possible. So the next graduation we'll talk about is graduating middle school and junior high students to one chapter. So this means, for instance, that if you are the teacher at Van Buren Middle School and every eighth grader from your school that was in FCCLA is going to be graduated to Van Buren High School, this is the option you would want to select. So again, you'll just confirm some chapter information. And for sample purposes, we're going to use eighth grade as the highest level for this chapter. So that means that the eighth grade is the highest level that students can be involved in FCCLA within your chapter. And then again, in this case, we're going to say that I am moving all students from my eighth grade chapter to the very same high school chapter. So again, Van Buren Middle School students, every eighth grader that was part of my FCCLA chapter at Van Buren Middle School will have the opportunity to be an FCCLA member at Van Buren High School. So once you select move on to the same chapter, You'll then select which chapter you want to move those students to. So first you'll select the city that that chapter is in. And then once you select the city, you'll have options for select the chapter. If there's only one chapter in that city to move those students to, that's what will appear. Or there will be several if you have several options. So select the city first and then select the chapter. You'll want to confirm, again, all of the information on this page before you move forward. And just be sure that you have the highest grade level correct, that you have op selected the correct option on how to treat your graduating members, and then that you have the city and the chapter to which you want to send these members. Once you're sure you have all of this information correct, you'll click on the black confirm button in the bottom left-hand screen. You'll again receive the graduation pop-up. Just be sure you read through these instructions about how to complete the graduation process and just be reminded that you won't be able to continue your affiliation process until you have graduated students and completed the bulk edit option. So next, you will be able to log in. And again, you'll see the red graduate button available. So you can select that button to go ahead and move forward with the graduation process. Now in this case, you'll see that because students were in the eighth grade in the 14 and 15 year, you'll now see that they have been advanced to the ninth grade. The advancing grade column is referencing what grade those students will be entering in the 2015-2016 school year. So just be sure that that information is correct. And then whatever school you selected on that first screen as your destination school will appear there in the graduating school column. So you'll be able to see that chapter. So you'll want to verify that that's the correct chapter that you would like to send those students to. You then can select in the graduating column, like previously, whether to select all students or, again, just select some individual students that you would like to graduate from your chapter. Once that graduation is completed and you've confirmed all the information on the screen, you'll just click on the Graduation Completed button to complete that process. Again, the graduation complete pop-up will appear. 
You'll just need to verify that you have finished graduating your students if you have, and if you would like to come back at a later time, you'll select the no option. So the last option available for graduating is graduating middle school or junior high students to various chapters. So this means that all of the eighth graders at your school will not be attending the same high school, but will be attending various high schools. And we want to make sure to the best of our ability that we are moving those students to that school, that they will have the opportunity to participate in FCCLA. So like the others, you'll go ahead and confirm that chapter information. Again, for sample purposes, we're selecting eighth grade as the highest grade level for our chapter. And then in this case, we're going to select that we're moving on to various chapters, which again means that all of the eighth grade students in the chapter will not be attending the same high school. So you'll select that move on to various chapters. You'll confirm all of this information on this screen one last time and then click on the confirm button to go ahead and move forward with this process. Like the others, the graduation pop-up will appear. Please be sure to read these instructions carefully. And again, take note that you will not be able to proceed through the affiliation process without graduating your students and completing the bulk edit member process. So once you've read these instructions carefully, you'll click on that close button and then be able to move forward with graduation. So here you'll see again the red graduate button under the members tab that you can select to go ahead and move forward. And again, you'll see the list here of students with the advancing grade as ninth grade. So just be sure that ninth grade is correct and that that is the grade your students will be entering for the 2015-2016 school year. In this case, we're going to need to select the destination to which we're sending our students. So we'll need to select the chapter that each of the students will be attending in the 2015-2016 school year. So you'll choose that Select button. And then much like the previous process, you'll choose the city that that chapter is in and then select the specific chapter that your student will be participating in for the coming year. So you'll want to make sure that you do this to the best of your ability, again, so that we do not duplicate student records, but rather their activities and their participation in FCCLA will continue with them throughout their FCCLA experience. You can also use this select button for changing a destination for a student if you've selected one of the other options of moving on to one chapter, or if you need to move them to A&A, &A, you have that option here as well. So this is kind of a multi-function screen. But again, in this case, if you're very, moving them on to varying chapters, you would select the city and then the chapter and then select the confirm button to confirm that that is the chapter that you would like to send that student to. So once you've completed that select process for each student, you will be able to see those graduating schools in that graduating school column. And then, like the others, you can choose Select All, or you can select each individual student that you would like to graduate from your chapter. And once you've done all of those processes and you've verified the information, you'll click on the Graduation Completed button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. From there, this graduation pop-up is going to appear again. Just be sure to confirm if you have finished graduating your students or again, if you'd like to complete the process at a later time, select no from your options there. So that is the graduation process. Again, this is for students who are graduating out of your chapter to either another chapter in a high school or to alumni and associates. So please be sure to do this graduation process to remove those students from your chapter and then move forward with the rest of the affiliation. So once you've completed the graduation process, the next part to do is the bulk editing. So I'll walk you through that process in the system now. So once you've finished graduating your students, a red button will appear that says Edit Chapter Members. This is a one-time opportunity for you to go in and bulk edit the list of students who were part of your chapter in the previous school year. So this will list all students minus the students graduated that participated in your FCCLA chapter in the 2014-2015 school year. Again, this is a one-time opportunity 
to do this on one screen. And after you complete this, if you need to edit student information moving forward, you'll have to use that edit pencil that you see on the screen to edit each individual student information. So we're going to go ahead and click on Edit Chapter Members. And now you'll see you're brought to a screen where you have the opportunity to edit the grade, the individual affiliation type, the member title, the email, and the cell phone number of each of the students who participated previously in your FCCLA chapter. So you'll want to make sure that you update this information for each of these students so that it's correct in the system moving forward. One note to make on this, this bulk editing process is what you will use to update member information from the previous year. And these members should not be added as part of another new chapter member upload or as part of a chapter member Excel document. Again, we don't want to duplicate student records within the system, so we do ask that you do any editing for those students through this bulk editing process or using the edit pencil and do not upload any of these students as part of another affiliation document of new members. So you'll see from this screen that you can select the drop-down arrow for grade, individual affiliation type, and member title to update that information. So make sure that you advance the grade of the student. And then also if that member has become a chapter officer, a regional officer, a state officer, or a national officer, that you update that information in this part of the system as well. This also gives you the opportunity to update email addresses and cell phone numbers of students. Be sure to verify all of this information is correct, and then you'll be able to click on the black bulk edit complete button in the bottom left-hand corner. Once you do that, you will have another pop-up that will ask you if you are finished with bulk editing your students. You do have two options here. If you are not finished with bulk editing your students, you can select no and it will save any changes that you have made, and then you'll have the opportunity to come back and complete that process at a later time. If you did finish the bulk edit process, you'll select the Yes button and be able to move forward with the affiliation process. So once you complete that bulk editing student process, You'll see here now that the red Submit Affiliation button has appeared and also Add Chapter Members. So these two buttons will appear after you complete that graduation and bulk edit process. So now if you'd like to add more chapter members, new chapter members to your chapter, you will do this the same as you did last year and you'll select that Add Chapter Members button. You can download the CSV template that we have available. You'll need to complete all of the required fields in this CSV template. And then you'll need to highlight the whole document, click Control copy to copy them or Control C to copy the material. And then place your cursor in the prefix box and click Control V to paste it into this chart. If it doesn't paste exactly, that means that some words were misspelled or some required columns were not filled in as part of that template. So just be sure to double check that. You can also just type right into this table and complete the information for those students that way. Make sure once you enter students that you click the Save button that you see in the bottom left-hand corner. And do click that Save button often to make sure that you're not um, losing data that you have entered previously. Once you have finished all of that information and you've entered all new students and you've verified and edited all of the previous students, you'll be able to click on the red Submit Affiliation button to submit your students for affiliation. We do have a new feature this year that you will be able to select specific students, as you can see in the Select column, that you would like to submit for affiliation, or you can choose Select All and select every student to submit. Please keep in mind that once a student has been submitted for affiliation and has been placed on an invoice, that student will not be able to be deleted from the chapter. So just be sure to verify your list of students, check for duplicates, and then be able to submit that affiliation after verifying the student information. So the last update is to the parental consent forms process. 
We do have a new process for this this year. If you work with middle level students, you know that last year we required all chapter advisors to collect parental consent forms for students under the age of 13, authorizing FCCLA to receive, use, and store the information of those students. This year we've streamlined this process considerably. So now if you have students under the age of 13, you will see that the red Confirm Consent Forms button appears. And then this is what the process will look like. Any students who require a consent form will be listed. FCCLA does require that consent forms be collected for students under the age of 13 in order for the organization to receive, use, or store the information of those students entered in the membership database. The consent form required is located on the homepage of the national website for distribution and collection. So after the advisor has collected the forms, please read the statement below on this screen verifying that as the chapter advisor of this chapter, you have in your possession parental consent forms for each student entered that is currently under 13 years of age. You'll then need to click off on each student for which you have collected forms, or if you have forms from all students, you can use the Select All button. So once you have verified which students you have those forms collected for, you'll click on the Save button to save that information. And once you've verified that you have the form for these students and you've saved it on this page, you will be able to submit that student for affiliation. Those are the major updates to the affiliation system for the 2015-2016 school year. If you have any questions, please email membership at fcclainc.org and we would be happy to answer those questions or get you any further information that you might require. We look forward to working with you this year and wish you the best of luck in this affiliation year.